It's gorgeous. It's off the shoulder and it comes right down and shows off all my decolletage. You what? <laughs> Boobs! Don't you watch Gok? No. Anyway, I've got this matching handbag and... You don't think it's too much, do you? It might be. It is a funeral. Boys are going to wear the hoodies and the girls are just going to do their own thing. Well, that's what his mother said. Nothing too depressing. <laughs> You have sorted it with them, haven't you? Sorted what? Staying open. I don't need their permission to open my own shop. You should have told me. You let me sit there! Oh, my God! I'm sorry, don't have a go at me, all right? It wasn't my fault, OK? Do you always do that? What? Pout. No. <laughs> uh, do you know what? What? I think you're dead fit. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> To a moron. What? Sorry, but I'm... get the fuck out of my pub. What? Now. <sighs> Why are you so worried about what everyone else thinks? What about what you think? We'd make a great team if you just stood on your own two feet. I'm so excited to meet our baby Lloyd. I'm scared. I mean, I got it right with Jess. I really hope I get it right this time. I want you with me. Look, it's the 21st century. I'll still be its dad. Part-time. Is that what you really want? Say you don't love me anymore. Go on. Say it. You can't, can you? Because I hurt your pride and I broke your heart. I'm so sorry. I love you so much. <laughs> when our baby says its first words and takes its first steps, I want you there, by my side. Not watching it on some video. Please. Right, everyone. When I call you, I want you to grab a prop, slip behind them screens, and take your clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> You are. You haven't told him, have you? Here she is. Miss January. Brilliant. <laughs> <gasps> what is wrong with you? You never get sick of throwing things on me, do you? This is your engagement party. You've got Paddy yet. You still have to go and ruin everything, don't you? Why can't you ever be happy? What's going on? I hate to break it to you, Paddy, but your fiancé has been snug in the face of him! Down! Get lost, David! I mean, a belly full of men like you! Please, down! Get off! Who's my sexy boy? Who's my sexy boy? You're my sexy boy! Yes, you are! Yes, you are! Hello, gorgeous! Not you. Hiya, boys! Hello! How are you, eh? <laughs> hey! Look amazing on you, this! What are you, 14 on top 10 below? Hey, play the song Peter Townsend. <laughs> Oi, knowing it, Enrique Iglesias. Oh, I'd love a bit of Enrique, me. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't miserable. What? Life with Neil. It wasn't miserable. It was just okay. Fine, you know. It wasn't good and it wasn't bad either. It was just okay. And I got so used to OK. I forgot how it feels to be happy. I became happy when I met you. Why stay? Because 
He didn't come home drunk, and he didn't trash the house, and he didn't go out gambling. He was just a good, good man. And I didn't want to take his little girl away from him, and I certainly didn't want to break his heart. Until now. Until you! You and me, Lloyd, everything we have talked about. Our great life. If you believe in us, just enough to give me this one chance, I promise you that's what we're going to have. I'm sick of this. What? Your split personality. The man I fell for was a nice, kind, normal bloke who took regular proper doses of his insulin so that he stayed that way. This man, the one who gets stuck down holes, who's quite happy to have half the emergency services running around him every time he decides to play silly beggars with his stupid drugs. This man is a selfish, unpredictable prat. You could have killed yourself and Tommy. Now, why would I want to waste my time on someone like that, Mike? I'll see you around. Are you all right? Well, you said it was serious. Oh, yes, but... Well, I've done my bit, sister. So now it's your turn.